It's election day in Asafa Heto's home country, Ethiopia. But he and others in Washington's little Ethiopia say they already know the results. The ruling party going to assume again the power. The government is going to win. We want the American government. We want the entire world to watch what is going on. Which is unfair election, that's what I call it. Sunday's election is likely to give Prime Minister Mela Zanawi another term. A recent rally at the State Department protested Zanawi's human rights record. But as a U.S. ally against terrorism in the region, critics say the U.S. hasn't stepped up. Ethiopia has been moving on a steadily more repressive trajectory for some years. Donors take to, tend to take the short-term view and say putting pressure on its worsening human rights record is too difficult or, you know, it's not um, balanced by, by the risks. We are not satisfied by the action of government. It's frustrating, really. As, as far as U.S. standards for human rights and the justice for the people, they have to take into consideration the Ethiopian situation. But as the Ethiopian saying goes, a loose tooth won't rest until it's pulled out. Hedo says they might have to wait another five years, if ever, to do that. Lauren Vaughn reporting for Politics Daily.